Staying with us on Indonesia this morning, as part of the Australian Embassy's month-long cultural festival, OzFest 2010, Australian artists toured three locations in Indonesia to perform and collaborate with local and international artists. The Australian artists include Muslim hip-hop artists Jihad Dabab, Mustafa Dabab, Hesham Habibullah, and Timur Bakan from the Brotherhood. We spoke to members of the Brotherhood, Jihad and Hesham, who explains how the group was established. Well... We all, we've all known each other for a very long time, about 12 years. So we just started off mucking around, you know, like we all, we're all very much into hip-hop, very much into, into writing poetry and things like that. And um, we were at a Muslim camp and um, we didn't know each other, we actually met each other at a Muslim camp. And they asked, they asked the, the participants to come up with some sort of entertainment. And so we said, okay, we're all, we're all into hip-hop and everything, so we decided why don't we write a track. So it all started at a camp. What made you decide that we've got to continue this? I think it was just the, the response that we got from the audience. It seemed to be that you know a lot of people sort of were quite receptive to it. They all enjoyed it. So we just kept thinking, oh well, we'll do something here and there. And then uh, yeah, it sort of started. Sort of we rode, we rode the wave, and you know it, it just started going from there. Um, a lot of hip hop these days. Um, you know, we, we, we can't relate to it. Listen, back, back, back in my day, I listened to a lot of NWA, Ice Cube, Easy E. And, you know, I was really into it for the beats and everything, but the stuff they were talking about I really couldn't relate to. Um, you know, in Australia, where we're from, you know, we weren't really, um, we couldn't relate to the gangster kind of lyrics that they were talking about and everything. So we thought, why not write lyrics that, that we can relate to and that people, people in our communities can relate to? So your music is like music with a mission, but what special mission do you have? Do you have, like, a message in your music? Uh, our expression is probably just to express ourselves in, in any way we can possibly. It, it, as, as Jad was saying, we talk about anything from being a leader in society to uh, you know, the, the hidden racism that, that we face. So we pretty much talk about it as many things as we can uh, that may either uh, influence us or that may affect us or other people that, that will listen to our music. So our goal is to really try and break down these stereotypes, try and build bridges between us as Muslim rappers uh, and the Australian uh, sort of community and then progress on further so that we can uh, identify ourselves to the rest of the world. Now your album there, Lyrics of Mass Construction, that's quite a unique title you got there. What is it about and why did you choose that? Um, well, we were, we were tossing around the name of you know, what we should really call the album and, and it really took a while because I mean, there's five guys in the group and with five guys, any, deci five yeah, any decision making is just a nightmare. So it, I think it took about two or three months to, to think just, just of the name. And um, the reason we chose Lewis and Mass Construction, this album was brought out, uh, it was being produced in 2007 and we released it in 2008. And so around that time there was, there was still a lot of talk of um, you know, going into Iraq and, and all that kind of thing. So, and a lot of that um, talk in the media was bringing, the, bringing about a negative stereotype on Muslims especially. So we thought rather than weapons of mass destruction, we thought we'd choose the name lyrics of mass destruction because our whole album is really about our lyrics. I mean, we've got, thank you, we've got both beats in there, you know, props to Defamation Music who, who produced the album. But it's about, it's, it's really about the, uh, the lyrics and um, we really try to make the lyrics very clear so that everyone can really understand what we're trying to say. And it's really positive, constructive, good music. So how familiar are you with Indonesian hip-hop artists? Do you have any plans to collaborate with them? Before we came to this trip, we weren't really that familiar, and we got here, and it was amazing just seeing the the, the crowds, the way they rap. It, we, like we were coming out thinking, you know, we'll we'll learn a bit of them, and they'll learn a bit of us. But I mean, the hip hop community here is just so strong, and you know, I have no idea. It's um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, we were in Jakarta yesterday, and we did a performance there, and, and they've got like a whole set up just for hip hop, you know, and and we um, we performed there. It was an honor really to perform with like the, the grandfathers of hip hop. They've been they've been performing hip hop since like nineteen ninety two, you know, and it was it was really just amazing. The crowd is just so into it. And these guys were rapping in their traditional Javanese language. Wow. And um, I yeah. 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 Oh it was amazing, yeah. yeah. The Brotherhood, whose ethnic backgrounds include Lebanese, Egyptian, Burmese and Turkish descent, currently live in Melbourne, Australia. Aside from Indonesia, the group has also performed in London, Toronto, Kuala Lumpur and Abu Dhabi.